Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. Welcome back to more Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, but I'm bad. A anniversary of sorts, considering that this was the first game in the But I'm Bad series all those moons ago, and now we are back with the DLC over two years later. I have played every other Souls game, not Sekiro, not a Souls game, and beaten all of them and everything, so we'll see what this has to offer. It's going to be the third chunk. Got a few bosses down, at least uh, many ones we have found in and around the world. We beat that first furnace golem in a previous episode, but let's uh, let's head to our first legacy dungeon. No faffing about. We're at uh, Erd Tree or Skadu Tree Blessing 3, and our summons are at Tier 2. I already explored all the way to the left and whatnot, so we're just going to head. We're just going to head right in. Or as right in as we can, considering probably a, we're not gonna go in the front door. Hello. I like your beard. I like your pot. Oh, skull tree fragment. There we go. Touch cross. Carved words coalesce. I abandoned here a part of the flesh of my body a part of the flesh of my body. Nicola just walking around, just chopping off arms. Yeah, we got one of these. Hello. You must be the tarnished. I am Ansbach, formerly in service to Lord Moog. Mm. But now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. Mm. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation, to discern tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. Mm. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. Okay. Again, this game doesn't take into account your ending if you've already technically ended the base game because I am the Frenzied Flame Lord, but none of these NPCs have issue with that because it doesn't have any bearing on it. May I request a service of you? Mm -hmm. Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to tender Nicholas footprints or gravestones which mark what he's left behind. Mm -hmm. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Uh, well, it's the, the realm of shadow, the shadow lands, as it were, is just an embodiment of all the different sort of tropes that Souls games usually have. The whole parallel dimension thing. Because the Skadu tree is, it's called a shadow of the Erd tree. So we're just in like a, we just went through the looking glass, essentially. We're in, we're in a shadow world. So, but this guy used to work for Moog, for example. So clearly he just, he, he came from the lands between. So they are just, they are tangentially connected if folks are just stepping over and being like, we're here now. Hey, what's up? If you discover any more, be certain to tell me. I presume you too. Just what kind? Yeah, not really. Hello. Please have a big silly voice. Hello there. Together oh. we work. Damn it. Together for Mikola the kind. Many things we have found. Oh. <gasps> More is a shop. Oh my goodness. I can buy more stuff at more. Pickled livers. Temporarily grants large boost to mat. Okay. So this is the next step in resist items. And a well pickled turtleneck. Large boost to stamina recovery. Yum, 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 yum. Mushrooms and stuff. We got sealed spirit springs. 
sealed ones. So are there spirit springs that are, we have to open up? I'll take some rune arcs. You know what? I got, I got runes and arcs. We know the boss coming up is big on lightning. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to just craft these eventually. The pickled livers because they're the next stage in resist items. Probably just because this game, the DLC is so ramped that they needed to give you a, the next tier of defensive. I like finding things mm. for you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager brute. Things bring joy to all. <laughs> things, you say. Got a little bit of Dark Souls 2 vibes going on with that armor, if you know what I mean. I like finding things for you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the Forager Brute. Things bring joy to all. I like the opening line. I like finding things. You can hear the smile in how the delivery is. That's so good. Goodbye. Goodbye, more. I'll see you later. Are you the only shop in this whole DLC? Behold, lovable sort. Yeah, 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 yeah. That gets applauded. So he's dead. He's in a Souls game, and we like the character, so he's dead. We're gonna find his corpse somewhere, and he's gonna have like a bell bearing or something. That's how this game works. Any character you're like, oh, they're sweet, or oh, they're cool. dead. Oh, that's a really cool character. I like their story. Dead. Dead. How? Who's walking up these stairs? How much bigger are they than us? Look at how tiny. <laughs> I don't think I sat at the grace. It's still swirling, but... I just needed it. The stairs are too big. Yeah, there we go. Schwong. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got to look at this. Turtleneck meat that has been thoroughly pickled in a bitter solution. Mm. The effects are of the forager's broods pickled delights are enhanced by the fermentation or rotting of the ingredients that's what fermentation is technically to a degree it's controlled rotting though this result it results in a pungent odor some come to find the aroma irresistible i drink pickle juice after you get that last pickle out of the jar what do you do you slurp the juice maybe not all of it but like a, a healthy couple of swigs. Oh yeah, it's good for you. Should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for stacked stones. By toppling them, you may break the seal. Okay. With some God of War push the rocks over puzzles or something. All right. Hmm. This is such a... Who who's walking on this? Who's buying this? That would be my big fat ass. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are, it should take yummy. No precious item ahead. Someone's already checked. Appreciated. So are we just walking in the front door? Door is huge. Bug ahead. Door ahead. Open. Okay. I got Aldrich vibes real strong right there. Ah, prawn. What?
It's like a manticore scorpion thing. <laughs> I didn't really get a good look at it because it jumped at me. It's like a weird giant scorpion tailed spider crab. I don't know. Pack ahead. Oh yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, spiders. Oh, come on. They're scorpions. Well, bring it on, idiots. Ow. They're spiderins. Scorpa eiders? I don't know. It's got big Dark Souls 2 vibes. You walk into a room and there's a whole bunch of things hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Are they all going to descend when I go for the item? Uh-huh. Huh. huh clearly an omen so these are omen bodies it looked like they were storm giants before but the ones that we saw outside didn't have no heads that's clearly an omen hence all the horns or they're the horn scent which are the horn scent also just omens of a different name or or species or something huh now If they were going to be... Oh, the, the Scorpa spiders fell off the ceiling. Wow, was someone already saying... Illusory wall here and someone already liared them... Liar aheaded them out of oblivion? They're so small. Ugh. What the hell? Dude, these are the old one statues from Demon Souls. All the tiny kids that were standing upstairs. I mean, obviously they're not, but like very similar asset. Look at this freaking thing. What the hell? They have no health, but ugh. Disgusting. Yeah, see the fireproof dried liver. That's the older one. Hiya! Hi, Vati. I see you. And having mana regen to just throw off some spells while exploring feels so amazing. Because. Legacy dungeons all take like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Like they're all like so chonky. Be wary of right. Be wary of right. Uh huh. Oh God. Ah! Got a better look at its weird face. Yeah, they're just big friggin' scorpions. Miyazaki. We've done enough spiders. What's next? It's also in that same category of creepy crawlies that once they're made gigantified they're also gross scorpions all right a spider with a tail liar hidden path ahead it does make you like clip through a little bit there but nope are people disparaging that it's got five thousand appraisals but that also means it's been disparaged that many times once it hits a certain threshold it uh It gets deleted. Fort morning? No, not Fortnite. Stop it. Holy shit. The lighting in this area makes the Skadu trees like tree veins look different. What's up, dog? Hmm. 
Elrat Tower Settlement. Mm hmm. Just making a note of that. Trying to keep notes of all the different major locations, of course, and then all of the bosses, because it's all new, after all. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Soulsborne players. They just can't help themselves, can they? They just can't. They can't help themselves. Let there be grace. Is this immediately a boss fight? Door ahead? Ah, doors open for this side. Well, we're going to go the way the grace was pointing first. Hello. If usually running this weapon, if I was going to be super aggro with it, instead of using incantations, you swap this out for the, uh, the rotten winged sword insignia. You can, you can use both. They both stack. Just because the wombo combos of this stack it up really quickly. It's like a nine hit combo or something. <laughs> yeah, all these hidden paths ahead. You know what? If one of them is real, I would be very surprised. Two doors that don't open for the side. That's going to be a shortcut back. Is that like a mound of flesh or a big tapestry? So that's going to loop back around here to the grace. So we're only going right. We need to find both a key and a shortcut. Friend ahead? Hello, Largeman. You do be swinging. Stimulating boluses. Well, this is where they were doing the punch punch. What are you guys dying to? Oh! <laughs> what are you guys dying to? The mob that comes out of the waterfall that you can't see because he's <laughs> mostly transparent. That's funny. No horse ahead. That yeah, because we're in a dungeon. Don't do it. Nope. Nope. I mean, I'll check. But again, Elden Ring only has, I think, three illusory walls in the entire game. Actually, I think we had four. I think there's one. There's one up in the snow drift area, I think, that was just opening up a wall for a chest. Or if I'm mistaking that one for the one that was in one of like the catacomb dungeons. This freaking dork. D H O U R K. Dork. Sadness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Uh, yo, yo. That's Dark Souls humor that I can get behind. That's, that's good. Yeah. I'm still baffled that some of the... There are already some messages when this game launched and it only been out for like an hour and a half that already had thousands of appraises. Hey, bud. Hmm. What are, you, what are you bloodstains doing here? What are you fighting? What? Yeah. 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 
You getting blasted? Okay. Well, I can do the same thing. Somber Spitting Stone, a little tier three action. It is so foggy, it like hurts my eyes. We have a down into the sewer or to the aqueducts underneath. Okay, can I mark that? Put a f stick a flag in it. Like the the woven tapestry stuff coming off of the Skadu tree is crazy. Oh, there's an item at the top of that. I don't know. Sewage filled waterfall. I can hear someone inside there. There's a big boy to my left. Slurp, slurp. Mesmer fire grease. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of incendiary materials. This is craftable. Eventually. Coats Armin adding heavy fire damage to attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers would wield it. That's a wild fire painting, like the art. Looks sick. I can just spend mana exploring now. Usually when you do legacy dungeons as a half caster, as a full caster, you don't... Oh my freaking... What? Okay, scumbags. Yeah? All right. Okay, you little swirly swirls. I don't think I can lob a fireball up there, so hold on a moment. That's super rude of you. Hello. That's too close. But yeah, even as a half caster, since I don't usually have a ton of Estus. Like I'm not rocking a ton of... Um, healing. Or um, blue. Blue juice. Having the ability to actually to be able to cast spells and not super worry about it. Even if it's only like, you know, maybe 40 a minute or something like that, 45 a minute. That's why I bought, brought Beast of Vitality here too, just so I can have some HP regen while I'm walking around. This one is, it's four a tick. Yeah. Or five a tick or something like that. Hmm. Just so trying to, uh, Oh, silver horn tender. I think that the dude dropped it. Cause he fell forward. Yeah. It's all about sustaining, because you never know how long you're going to go without... Oh, never mind. There's like a set of grace right here! What the heck? I was not expecting that to be that early. Don't need to sit. Don't need to respawn everything. Whoa! Oh, you were the guys on the bridge overhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Man, 
Damn. X. I'm doing some roof jumping here in a moment, aren't I? Yep. A lot of roof jumping I can see to get around. Round, round, down, get around. Oh, hello. Oh, God. My face. That is quite the combo you have there, sir. Some would call it a wombo. Ouch. Ouch. Hmm. It's like a weird not castle. It's like a weird shadow effect right there. That's super strange. There's a lot of castle here, as one might expect from a legacy dungeon. Oh boy, some thin beast bones for all those arrows I'm making. Rump ahead. When you write, you write. <laughs> Be wary of mage. I don't want to get lost because this is actually like a densely woven, like rural section. Hmm. Mm hmm. Always be wary of giant open rooms. Those scripts of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. I've been invaded. A fire knight. That's the wrong button. Whoa! Oh my god, the follow up! Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Holy crap, the follow-up, though. Yep, you are technically an NPC, so you'll have a juice, too. Damn. 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 Okay. Mesmer can lick a fat one. Um, that tracking combo is gross it is quite the tracking combo that was nasty probably want fire protection on actually in this area against that mob in particular Probably swap Somber Smithing Stone 8 just drops. There were tiny little helpless mobs that turned into a 17 foot tall werebear in Limgrave. That is true. So I can't can't just immediately look at every mob like, oh you're all poo-poo. Um let me. That's why we have another spirit ash now. 
What if I... I'm not sure we're going to be dealing with buildup of Scarlet Rot and stuff right now, so... But clearly... There are some very angry fire damage happening here. I'll take some flame protect me, I guess. done <laughs> yeah the uh, the attack pattern though on this NPC is quite wild just the amount of uh their combo was nuts those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Uh huh. Nice job. How are you so lightly armored and have that much poise? Never mind. Little mini fireball to get you to move? No? Big fireball. After you come out of that, you'll dodge. Big fireball, you won't dodge. You'll do your crazy wombo combo attack madness. Are we traded there? Okay. Shit, I wanted to jump that. Good God. That was some panic right there. I got stuck on the wall. Yep. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I need to wait and I can put the fire buff up. That fire attack, I think it locks me. It's like a, um, it held me in place. <clears throat> so I couldn't really move after it, it landed and it's very fast. So. I thought I had you before that. I, I can wait until the dialogue plays to... Whoops. Damn it. Owie. I'm stuck in the wall. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, fire damage is, uh, is no joke. I thing I was really worried about with this, with this NPC was that. Of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Hello. He's got me twice, so. He's two handing a different attack profile. That's the. Okay, that is the attack. The two hand. Yeah, that follow up. It's gross. Okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Is that a weapon we can get? Oh my god. Dude, so much damage. 
I don't know if my buff went off, but that's a ton of fire damage. The attack pattern is definitely, um, I'm seeing it, but oh my goodness. quite the uh, damage profile. Okay, it's both physical and fire and it's a multi-hit. Alright, well, camera got me on that one. Rolled into the wall, as it were. I think I still picked up my runes, even though like, I'm not super worried about it. Oh, they can just drop the Silverhorn Tender. Okay. Wheelin. Nice roll. I'm trying to see how much I can push. Wow. Yeah, it locks you in place. You can't move if it starts hitting you. Yep. Yeah, it's just totally animation cancels you. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Whoa, what is that fireball? Yeah, fair enough. Getting wall banged. Not sure how you, ha you just, just jumped into me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's like Queely, Queele, something like that. I don't know. I gotta look at their name again. It's hard to write down their name when they're that quick on the screen. All right, I mean, that basically works. They can kind of get juggled a bit. If I hit him with a black blade there, they would have been dead. That is my normal combo is, is this. I dodged too early. Don't kick me. All right, bud. You want to do your spinning attack? You could do it. All right. Thank you. A little gulp gulp. I'm surprised. Just it, the... The amount of times that a move can be spammed, I guess. It's just the weapon art, I guess, on that polearm spear, I guess. It's very, very spammable. I'm just going to go ham, egg, and cheese again. I can get him with a black blade this time. Tracking on that is nuts. It's going for the the black blade damage there. You can't dodge with that close, man. Fire Knight. Wheelin. Ooh, what the hell is that? Fire Knight. Quelin. Alright. What do we got here? The Crusade Insignia. 
Is that just Mesmer doing like a plunging attack? Basically, what do we got here? Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. Oh, so like as you're rolling through enemies. This is a slightly larger one. A talisman depicting a raised spear. Oh, it's like a hand. Oh, it was tiny. I couldn't really tell. Raised spear on a backdrop of flames in remembrance of the lives lost in the sacred crusade led by Mesmer. So it raises attack power after defeating an enemy. So you get a temporary attack power buff when you... So that would be crazy to combine that. Usually there's no adds though in boss fights. So it's mostly for mobbing through dungeon stuff like that. The warriors who fought in the crusade set aside both honor and mercy to wantonly impale and scorch those deemed impure. Those who felt invigorated by each cry of death were the same men who were certain of the sanctity of the campaign. The ones that reveled in the bloodshed. Essentially. I don't even know how long that uh, fire protection spell lasts. The one that I have. I'm actually not sure. Now, obviously, I could have had a different talisman on. Could have changed to my like fire talisman because it was all fire damage that was getting me. Old boy arrows. Because it was a it was a three part attack. It was a, like a lunge, and then a slice upwards, and then the follow up, which was just like the flame attack, like the huamf. I don't know how else to explain it. The huamf attack. It's like the blood kind of thing that Moog does, but fire. Those are all graves for horn scent or omen, whenever they are. Here we got a purple item on the back of this. Ash of War Shriek of Sorrow. Grants and I the occult affinity and the following skill. Shriek of Sorrow. Skill utilizing utilized with the downtrodden scream, increasing nearby enemies to flinch, or causing rather, while also recalling deep-seated resentment, boosting attack power based on the amount of HP remaining. The lower the HP, the greater the effect. Oh. Very interesting. Wonder if that can be combined, like if it's a buff you can put on an offhand weapon, swap to it when you're low health, pop it, and then pop like that. The weapon art on your actual weapon that does the big next one hit just to combine more multiplicatives into a huge bonk. Could be. Maybe. Possibly. This feels jumpable. No? Okay. Like a little cheeky way around. There's only one way through here, looks like. There's no open. No open. This is all a dead end, I guess. All these doors are closed. I don't think we can open any of them. You'd not look interactable. So I guess the only place to go is... I guess we would jump in here when we start doing some rooftop stuff. But the rooftop stuff starts out here. All right. That's just... Just to fight the fire knight. Okay. <laughs> well, there is a lot of rooftop jumping, so where are we starting here? Don't you dare. In short, I did it.
Yeah, that's not the jump. You gotta get there from some other direction. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. The wary of right. Hello. Big man. Probably two big mans. Ruh. Yup. Called it. Yeah, I shouldn't have traded there because I took extra damage. I got hit while swinging, so take bonus damage. Should just rolled. What? Part bug, part... Oh my goodness. I like how this seems familiar. I've seen half bug people before. Yikes. I didn't expect you to come out of that door. You were walking around. Ouch. My Estes economy. And I should have known. It was that or like a fan dagger or something, right? Hi. Oh, nice swing. <laughs> All the way around with that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's not. <clears throat> Big doubt. Oops. <laughs> Put this ladder here. It's fresh wood. <laughs> the storeroom key. So is that for the other direction from the start? Is that the other other way? Potentially. Anyone gonna jump out and smack me? So bright all of a sudden. Some incredible... Something incredible ahead. That way? Okay. Like this big mob? This big boy? Dark Souls 1. Still works. You just gotta give him an attack animation. You can still do the walk around. Sage ahead. Nani? <laughs> so I told you, man. Absolutely baited. Fan dagger, throwing dagger, arrows, <laughs> string. Miyazaki and the level designers think they're funny. What gets players motivated to go explore certain reaches of different areas? Well, obviously items. What items should we put there? I don't know. A dagger. Will they ever use them? Probably not. Birds! Many birds. Looks like something was rolling down this path or... No? I hear scorpions? Oh, the flies. The fly people. Ugh. Okay. Oh, we got scorpions. Scorpions on deck. Oh, got him. Seek left. Many scorpions. Here we go again. Uh-huh. You can't fool me, video game. I'm still going in. Oh, it's just a big one of these motherfuckers.
Oh, come on. Ow. What? Oh, it was a grab attack? I can't see? The animation broke. I I can't see? I'm dead? Oh my god. The animation was so scuffed there. Oh, this one actually has lots of HP compared to the other ones. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. You can't come out of the door. Shut up. Get Dark Souls. Yikes. I am the poisoned. And of course, that's when I took off. I like how I took off the, uh, <laughs> I took off the, um, my cleanse thinking like, man, I'm not really seeing much poison stuff going on around these parts. And then of course there's a big scorpion that spits poison at me. Oh, it's multiple. Oh, that one. See, that's a garbage one right in one hit. No sorcery ahead. Don't give up ahead in short skeleton. Yep. The bone bow. Oh boy. A bow. I, mean, I can get rid of this poison. Just got to eat uh, a little one of these. Nom, 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 nom. Bone bow. Lore me. So we got the storeroom key. Opens the door to the storeroom on the second floor of Bellarat, the tower settlement. Oh, on second floor? Did it count as the second floor where I was? I don't know. A crude short bow fashioned from sickly bone. That's true. A medium for spirit calling and a product of the ancient hexing arts of the tower. It has rancor shot. It literally shoots off a barrage. Imbues arrows with ventral spirits before firing off a barrage. Imbued arrows chase down foes as they cut through the air. So it does like the spirit bell. That spirit bell thing you could use. The ding, ding, ding. I guess. Didn't expect dead end. Absolutely huge dead end. Yeah. There's an item up there. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Also, I don't know what that moving shadow is on the wall there. Something spinning. All right. So storeroom key is our only lead other than, I guess there's a little more up to go that way. Or we could go back to the storeroom. Let me go down here as well. This is my loop to the storeroom. Elevator. Second floor going back. Going down. Look for jump off points. Aha. Uh -huh. Or not shortcut? Is this the front door? Uh, I think it's that front door. Yep, front door. Okay. Which means the grace was right here, which means the storeroom is right there. What's our Estes like situation I'm looking at right? Three? Oh, well, might as well sit. Because now we have the shortcut to go back to the walkway up the path. We almost have a level too, by the way. That's okay. Just getting some arcane just for other options. Not really worried about too much. Hi. Is this the storeroom? Knock, knock. Nope. Okay. Not the storeroom. So this does not count as the second floor, even though we walked upstairs to get here. Well, if that's not the storeroom, then it's got to be up further then, like further in. Hmm. Check this way for jump offs. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, well, well. 
Looks like all those that big scorpion respawns in there. Is that a poison swamp? Maybe. Could be poison. Are you... You have a ghost flame in your mouth? The answer was yes. <laughs> the answer was absolutely yes. Is there a ghost flame in your mouth? <laughs> As I eat the whole thing to the face. <laughs> oh man. Love it. I'm having a great time. I'm ready to get my butt kicked by the first real boss, though. Any, anything is better than getting my butt kicked for, for two to three days straight. Doing one challenge in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, shit. I'm getting, getting jebated. This one's aggroing me first. Oh, right in the... Right in the clip through the ground. Yes. This is definitely not. Oh. Oh. This is a bait. Golden horn tender. And a revered spirit ash. My game lagged there for a moment. Oh shit, that's a big boy. Uh, I gotta go away so I can read the item. So golden one is boosts rune acquisition for a time. Old currency used by horn scent made by coating spiral horns with gold. Once bestowed upon inquisitors as an honor. Hmm. Wonder if they're stronger than the previous versions or if they're the same just from this area and thematically tied to this place oh shit <laughs> oh my god okay Whoa, God, he has the martial arts attacks too? What the hell, man? It's like a curved sword stance. Yeah, but you're still a Dark Souls enemy, so <laughs> I don't know who cares. <laughs> so that does, it is counting as a curved sword then if it has like the hip check and the kick. So I was not expecting the hip check and the kick. Oh, it's like big sword swing. Sure. All day, every day. But like the, if you get too close, all of a sudden he just totally dunks on you with the, the people's elbow or something. <laughs> it's, it's just such a ridiculous, ridiculous move set. All of a sudden I was not expecting that. that one chief that's not going to be the place to go that's for sure hello mutton for you good morning for me it is almost uh pushing midnight here soon Probably my last chunk here i would like to try to get to the boss but i don't think we're to get there this is a lot to explore also because i'm just taking my time right i'm not not just running through everything Hello, one more fireball for you. There's definitely a whole other door area. Seek grass. Closest way you can say ass in this game. All the flies chittering around down below is real creepy. 
Uh, that's the big boil. Get up. Wowza. How am I not dead? <laughs> Good God. That's what happens when you go a little too fast in Souls games. You think it's one mob and all of a sudden it's three. <laughs> so it's what that was. A little revered spirit ash action. I gotta not forget, there's a lot of rooftop jumping here, so I'm just not sure the best place to to traverse to that. First off, right, then seek left. Okay. Oh, this is the item from this is where in the tower that we saw earlier. This is where the yep. This is where this dingus is. This is actually like the biggest one, so I guess. That's why it's super tank. And that's a tiny one over there, a medium sized one. Well, we got a Statue of America, not looking too great. I know it's a system in the game, that's why it's just there, but we have strong foe. But Grace ahead. Okay. Oh, this guy. Damn it, that animation is so insane. It's just so many attacks. It just keeps you character locked in place. And it's a really small area for it, considering... If you're going to stay in my hitbox, I might as well just spin on you then. My goodness. The curse blade mask. Okay, we get some lore about what these things are. Really low stats. It's more of a magic. Yeah, magic and vitality versus physical. A mask affixed with a crown of tangled horns worn by those who would invoke divinity. Divine invocation heightens the dexterity of the wearer. Also, apparently they can wield chakrams, but causes the blessing of the Erd tree to become nauseating, reducing the restorative effect from drinking from a flask of sacred tears. Focus is also troubled by wearing this mask. Focus is also troubled by wearing this mask. Heightens the dexterity. Does it actually give dex? Does it actually give dexterity, but then makes... I think it's five dexterity. A lot of vitality, too. Which works with, uh, what, equipment load or something? Not equipment load, but um, um, defenses against uh, poison and stuff like that. So does certain Erd tree things, like, are they negative effects? That's bestial, so that wouldn't do anything. Huh. Is that just lore, or does that actually have a negative effect on the, on the wearer? You get five decks, but causes the blessing of the Erd tree to become nauseating. So if you use blessing of the Erd tree, the actual spell... And reduces the restorative effects of drinking from a flask of sacred tears, which are these, right? No. These. Those are crimson tears. Sacred tears. What's sacred tears? A different thing? Is it the actual healing wondrous physic tier, maybe? I don't know. There's too many things in this game to keep track of all the... 
different what affects what and who does it and why is it woman's so I'll leave that for the the math folks and the wiki writers to this actually works with this and does this because I'm not gonna have any freaking idea well done yeah, it was because they're pretty rough I put up all three of my <laughs> my buffs though so primarily because I didn't know it was around the corner. Oh, this looks like a boss fight room. If I ever did done damn dumb dang dang see one. Now the question is, do those guys respawn? Like is that is that dude gonna be right behind me if I if I sit? Or are they unique enemies? Well, we climbed the thing. That's clearly oh, this is definitely a boss room. There's a freaking summon here. Who's this? Oh, it's Redmain Freya. You can have Freya fight you with you here. That seems cool as hell. We could do a little monster mash. Dude, the dancing lion's going to have a bajillion HP. If we monster mash here, but that sounds like fun. I am going to trade off. Oh, I don't need this. Don't need this anymore either. I am scared of the lightning. Oh, I'm going to have time to cast golden lightning fortification. If I should just dodge forehead. Maybe I just just dodge forehead. How close are we to leveling up? Oh, I crack a rune, so I don't have to worry about runes for a little bit. That's why you always leave, uh, leave runes in your inventory so that you can... If you're about to go to a boss fight, just slurp up some runes. And then when you die, you don't have to worry about picking up your pride every single time. That's why I'm not cracking all of those runes I have. Because <clears throat> it's just not, not important. Because now if I lose, it doesn't matter. I have 2,000 runes. What is that? Nothing. Yeah, we'll, we'll freaking monster. We got Tish going on here. So we'll... Yeah, let's go Freya. Let's do it. Summoning Cooperator. Jolly Cooperation. Hello. I like your sword. Your shield is like... It's like a big fist weapon, actually. You see that? The way that it's... It's like a, a crescent moon that's not fully complete, so you can, like, bash with it, too. All right. Lion dancer time, I'm assuming. Yeah. One of the two bosses I know their locations based on the preview events. delivered. Take root inside the tower sculptor keepers, and perched within, we beg of thee, rise. <laughs> That's such a cool reveal. That's excellent. Who's talking, by the way? And we're monster mashing. Hey, there's three people in in inside of this freaking lion dancer. I could have three people too. Oh, my face.
Maybe there's only two inside the dancer costume, but he's gonna have so much health even with the three of us. Oh, Freya just got bodied. Oh, oh gosh. Lightning phase. I probably shouldn't stand here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my face. Woo. Oh gosh, there's lightning behind me and everything. Hard to see where all the spell effects are. Ice phase? Right into sandstorm phase, so it just skipped a phase. Get him, Tish! Oh, it made him mad! <laughs> oh, my face! Oh, God, it's so fast! Back into lightning phase again. Oh! Big fireball? Small fireballs because it's dancing? <laughs> Did I just dodge that accidentally? It just got stunned. I'm going in. Oh, she got it! Okay. All right, Freya. Damn, girl. Hey, it's a 3v3. Thanks, Tish. Big carry. Remembrance of the Dancing Lion. I did get my face smashed in a few times, though. <laughs> and the Divine Beast Head. All right. Dancing Lion note monster mash hell yeah get monster mashed you hear the music there it's a bunch of people in a costume i think it, it it's like one big guy and then i thought it was it's two smaller ones in the sections behind right it might be just one big guy and one small one but i thought it was three it's hard to tell without using like mod tools and stopping the game and going to photo mode or whatever so it's definitely one huge dude that's holding the face. You could see their arm <laughs> puppeting the the mouth. But it, and there's also at least one in the butt section. That's why I thought like monster mashing would be kind of fun because it's it's a multi boss. It says, you know, yeah. Also, it is kind of like super ridiculous that my black blade and Tisha's black blade stack did you see how much HP we grayed out when I got my double combo off and Tish got hers? It it chunks like 20-20% 20, 20 of their health. It's such a nasty, nasty combo. Also, it dropped 90,000 runes. All right. That was fun. Would have been way more spicy by myself as a half caster, but I probably would have just changed weapons and just bonked it with my big stick or something. First off, well done. Therefore, praise the message. You know what? Sure. The music right there, though. I almost kind of wanted to wipe to listen to more of the track. What? All done? All the more time for head? Yeah, let's read these items. <laughs> let's read these items. All right. Divine Beast Head. This is the weapon. No, weapon? Shield? It's a, it's literally the a head. It's a it's a helmet. Ritual headwear in the form of a divine beast's head used to perform the lion dance, worn by the very finest of the sculpted keepers. Sculpted keepers. You think those guys were like golems, like animated statues? Not. Hmm. Alas, it no longer responds to the old woman's earnest prayer. Yeah, who was talking? We got big 
echoey exposition when some bodiless woman's voice divine invocation heightens intensity of the storm alongside strength and dexterity but reduces the restorative effects of drinking from a flask of sacred tears so this is just the flask of sacred tears it's just it's crimson or cerulean right i derped on that a moment ago so wearing these is your new items they have set bonuses there's new like that's what this is same thing too so you get dex you don't want to use blessing of the Erd tree and it reduces your healing so you trade that off whereas this gives you strength and dexterity maybe plus three plus three but reduces the effect of your healing uh, your your cerulean tears focus is also troubled by wearing this headwear focus is also troubled what the hell does that mean some like hidden debuff or something remembrance of the dancing lion hewn into the skadu tree the power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader alternatively it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes when the impaler's army assailed the tower the ritual of the lion dance was turned towards martial ends its divinity its fury its light-footed beauty now you can see the large hand bottom right and you definitely see one big foot bottom left center center bottom left and then there's obviously something someone in the caboose that makes me wonder if there's another person behind there too so maybe it's only two people maybe it's three we can go see what this remembrance gives us though because we have I still have dupes I didn't use all my duplicates in the base game so I could still dupe stuff if they had like really cool spell so what does the helmet give also how freaking ridiculous is this thing about to look it's a super helmet because it's weighs 10 it's in the big category it gives four strength four dexterity also gives nine poise oh focus goes to crap okay and focus does which one which stat does focus impact It's one of the resistances. You see, I have 238 down there. It's one of the resistances. Anyway, I didn't put it on. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that is large. I'm still medium rolling, but like, it's so much helmet. I have a question. Have you fought a Dargan yet in the DLC? I have not. I have not fought a Dargan in the DLC. In this costume in Chinatown? Oh, absolutely. It's totally based on, on like the dancing dragon stuff. Absolutely. hundred percent. With multiple people dancing in unison in a big costume. God, this is such a wow. What an absolute unit of a helmet, though. I'll tell you what. What a unit. Yeah, this set. The Royal Remains set gives you HP. Uh, yeah. When it's reduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was usually just wearing the... Wait, did I have the wrong hood on? I did put the... Maybe I didn't. Was I wearing the black knife hood before? I can't remember. Because there's a black knife hood and there's just the, the black hood. I may have put on the black hood accidentally, but I think I had this on before. Yeah, because it has the mask. Um, Wow, okay. I need to look real quick what focus does. I forgot what the stat leads to, so I'm curious. Because how much of a... Like, how much of a, of a penalty is having zero focus? Immunity robust. So, focus 
Oh, it's your resistant to sleep, specifically sleep and madness. So, uh, flame of frenzy stuff. Yeah. So it's sleep madness. Robustness is, is bleed and frostbite. Immunity is poison, scarlet rot and vitality is resistance to instant death, which is a debuff that would stack. And if it stacks on the way you die. So. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting, but also not like super important, I guess. Because if you're not in a place where you need to worry about sleep and flame of frenzy, then you're not a big deal. I should have popped a great rune for that, I guess, too, but it's okay. I don't know who carried harder there, Tish or Freya. Because Freya got the stun and got the visceral. Freya was, was in. Since Tish usually only darts around and isn't super in combat all that often. But oh no, he used summons. He didn't actually kill it. Oh, that, that guy's buffing up. Using, he's using the jellyfish shield. All the multipliers. So there's some rooftop jumping. Can I get down there? Oh, why is it so foggy now? Well, I got to see if this guy responds or if they're an individual special mob. Those chakram dudes, they are not individual. Interesting. Okay. Well, this sort of dead ends here. So I have to figure out how to navigate all the way downstairs and find the storeroom which the only hint we have is on the second floor. Good, good luck. Which one is the second? <laughs> We're in a giant freaking castle. The second floor of the castle. Well, it's that one, obviously. So I thought we were in the second floor to begin with when we came in because we walked up past the ground floor. But apparently I was wrong. We're going to fight this dingus again. Owie. Wow. Okay, just clip through the wall, why don't you? Again, if you're going to be this close, I might as well. I got no stamina. One way to, to kill him. Uh, where did the... <laughs> my shoulder? Where do the daggers come from? They shoot daggers out of their chakrams? E. Nasty bitch. Well, I don't need to fight all this stuff. I could just teleport to the, to the base. But it looks like down that way and you just drop down. Yeah, it must be. Not from here, I don't think, but. Won't kill me, though. Did you hurt? Um, so is the storeroom this room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gather you all up. So you just jump over this. Maybe it's down with all the flies. Be wary of a head. Whoa! Ha, ha, ha! Be wary of a head. And the fly guy's like, Rah! he just yells. Oh, that's freaking gross, dude. Ugh. There's some bloodborne vibes going on here with these freaking bugs. 
Yuck. Oh boy, a goodie. Nasty, 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 nasty. They're molting from their own skin. It's like a, that's, ugh. So what's the hook here? Oh. What's the hook here with why are there bug people? What's the bug people lore? Thanks for the beast bones, I guess. Okay, just got to a tree fragment. Love to see it. Touch Grace. I abandon here my arm sinistral. I don't know what sinistral means. One moment. Hold on. While Bay looks up words. Sinistral is of or on the left side or the left hand. So it means left-handed. Okay. Relating to or denoting a strike slip fault in which the motion of the, that's for geology. That's why I was like, I thought it meant something different. <laughs> Not that it just means left. So this is where... Mikola just chopped off his left hand, I guess. Ugh. Gross. Dried bouquet. Or as it actually is spelt, it's Bauquet. Raises attack power when summoned spirit dies. A quaint bouquet of dried flowers offering to a small grave. Raises attack power when a spirit you have summoned dies. Hmm. What about how much? And is it permanent? Like how long does your... How long are you buffed after your spirit summon goes out? Interesting. Considering you could do, you could someone like Latena, who normally pulls aggro after X amount of time in a boss fight, and then you can't do anything about it. And she eventually dies, which she helps you get build stagger early. The sorrow that flows from the untimely demise of a loved one is a tenderness shared by all, regardless of birthplace. Yep. A couple years ago, I lost my grandfather all of a sudden. Just poof. Yep. Just one of those next day things. And he was gone. So, yep. Well, I guess we're dropping down into the poison swamp full of flies. And there are a lot of them, too. Hello. Are you skidding around because of me? I guess I can take out some of them from above here. Is this one shot? Yeah. That one's wearing a different armor set or something. Like they have a different robe on than the other ones. This is a poison swamp. It's not actually. What? Oh god, that noise is nasty. They're like big mosquito people.
If you don't like that, that buzzing fly mosquito noise. Ugh. I live in Florida, so way too many mosquitoes. It's hard to see down here too, though. Like the light just gets fly mold. Great. Lovely. A species of fungus known for its deathly sweet stench. Found by hunting man flies, cultivated using the flesh and blood of man flies, it can serve as pot innards. Okay, so it's for more explosive barrels. Also, a big, big cracked pots, probably. I want to go home. You are home. Staunching boluses. Nope, probably not. Nope. I'd be surprised if the DLC had one illusory wall. I would be absolutely surprised if it even had one, just, just one, it would surprise me. Biz biz. Oh yeah. I freaking knew it, man. It's bloodborne all over again. I can't swing faster than you can swing, apparently. I was trying to heavy attack there, I guess, but still. So now... Can I... Can I there we go. This... Does this shortcut behind the other door... I'm going to assume it must connect in some way. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. I'm dead. Not dead. Wow. <laughs> I just got bodied, though. I was... I got caught glancing at my uh, surroundings. Hmm. Hmm, it's my blood. Bruh. a great time like because like dying in a souls game is like 90 percent you messed up now there's some there's some bullshit sometimes you can go to like 75 percent your fault but a lot of the times it's your fault you were greedy you tried to attack you misjudged the angle you didn't dodge correctly etc etc like you you messed up right just feels like a lot more of the game is in oh crap that's right big boy is in your oh my god reach on this man yeah, yeah i i felt it in my bones can i leave no okay i <laughs> see like that yeah that that mob right there is nasty the one with the the dual wielding one not that bad but that one with the big curved sword mm -hmm. I don't really care too much about those runes though. Um, so if I'm going to figure out how to jump on the, I'm trying to figure out where the other section is for jumping on top of the roofs. Cause we still have locked doors this door is locked from the other side so i'm wondering if where i was going 
is connected to that at all? I, I figured it was, but it, I don't know. It didn't look like it. It just had the big, the big boy with the big single, the single sword. So that must connect to the storeroom somehow. Let's go back down a floor. See if we missed a door that could be opened. Oh God, that's right. You freaking big old spider thing. Get out of the way. Because, yeah, we walked up all of these flights in, and I was like, okay, we got to be on a higher floor, right? Hello. But all of this opening area is, is nothing. It's not... There's no doors here, so it has to be when you get into the actual castle proper. I think it was really only that one, that one section that I hadn't, because now this was like, this is floor one, and then you go up the elevator right there, and that's floor two, right? That, that makes sense to me. What? If you did not jump that far, there's no way. What? No way. This freaking ghost ass boy jumped that far with his ghost legs but yeah there's a whole bunch of rooftop right here to jump across and on top of and i'm i guess you do it from up there where the casters are oh they're blasting at me That's just free real estate. And then this was the other. Does this not go to where I just was? Hello? Oh, good. This is where they jump out. They're dead. Ah, house. <laughs> what is it? Turn back. Well, there's, there's more exploring to do, so I don't know about that one. Oop, more grease. Boy, I had a rat. Yeah, if we're playing dark and darker, turn to a rat. <clears throat> Hiya! And this is also locked? What the frick? All right. So there's a connection point here with trying to find the storehouse. Storehouse might lead to, and the only place I know now is where big, big two-handed sword boy is. I think two big two-handed sword boy and that path. Hello. Dude, the, the amount of jump you have is impressive. Yeah, greedy. Thought I could take him out with one more swing. Hello. So I think we're going to figure that out uh, next time because we've done a lot. This one, there's still a little bit more Bellarat to explore the rooftops, figuring out that sewer grate, finding the storehouse. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have been, of course, there's so many other videos in the but i'm bad series we're over 500 now if you want more long form rpg playthroughs with different amounts of cringe and frustration especially the end of final fantasy 7 rebirth i was getting tilted thank you for watching again and uh, i'll see you in the next one unless you're watching live then i'll see you momentarily That's some range on that sucker. Oh my God. Hold on, I have to manually toggle.